Them standing. Uh, no, no, no. Sit down, guys. <laughs> Well, thank you very much uh, for your patience. Uh, we had to wait, of course, to have the icing in the cake. And uh, we're going to have now a very informal and frank discussion uh, with His Excellency, uh, President Ruto. He told me to call him William, but mm. I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. We are formally here, so I have to call him Mr. President. And uh, this is going to be a frank discussion. Uh, I must start by saying I'm a little bit disappointed because my wife, when she heard that I'm having a conversation on this page with you, she went and bought me a very nice jacket. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to upstage him. <laughs> then he went and came in this, you know, wonderful. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I mean, anyway, so it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, to, to, to really start, I, I uh, have really three sets of questions. Mm. Uh, some of them are global. Maybe, maybe before you start more, ah, let please. me... You just said I, I said I, uh, you should call me William, and you refused. Let me tell you of another incident. Yeah. I called the Secretary General of the UN, uh, Guterres. So I kept on telling him, oh, your excellency, you, uh, your excellency, and then he told me, please, you have to stop calling me your excellency. Call me Antonio. Otherwise, I will also begin to call you your majesty. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I stopped. So I call, nowadays call him Antonio. Yeah. Still, I'm going to call you Mr. Brady. <laughs> It's not appropriate. We are in Kenya and we are in a formal meeting, and I believe it's live on TV. I think, so that doesn't. It should not be right. So I, I was just saying that we're gonna talk about some global issues. Uh, answer. As you know, most of our session today, or the whole conference, was about Africa and the world, our issue. And there were some wonderful speakers, amazing people, really. And I'm going to send you, I know you had other commitments, you could not, you wanted to come, but you couldn't. I'm going to send you the videos of these conversations because it's really good and useful. Uh, then we're going to talk about the region and then maybe a little bit about Kenya. Uh, so that's how we proceed, if you will. Now, you had been outspoken. You traveled and you make a statement about the global orders, about the debt, etc. Can you just Tell us, what is wrong with this architecture, the global architecture, we feel, especially the financial architecture? What's wrong? Why are you unhappy with it? Well, um, first, you must understand that uh, the current global financial system was set up against a certain context. Yeah. That context has since significantly changed, and therefore, it is struggling, the current financial system is struggling to respond to the challenges of the moment. Yeah. Countries, um, the, the whole system was set up around overseas development assistance, um, a financial system that was uh, focused on prescription from uh, the World Bank, IMF, and the institution, and sometimes those prescriptions went the wrong way. There wasn't room for emerging frontier, new ideas on how to finance development. And as a result, you find that the system has not responded to frontier uh, economies, emerging economies. A case, for example, mm. is what happened in Greece. Yeah. It tells you there is something fundamentally faulty with the current financial system. Uh, while it is true that you can get overseas development assistance at 0.5%, concessional uh, facilities at 
0 0.5, whatever, but when you, read, need, when you need real development resources, you have to go to the global financial market because you want to run your own development the way you know how. You end up with 10%, 12%, 15%, and it becomes local. impossible. Uh, yeah. It becomes impossible to finance any meaningful development. Meaning that from the beginning, from where I sit, from the beginning, the current international financial architecture is, to put it bluntly, rigged against those of us in the global south. Because we cannot meaningfully I, I, address our development needs yeah. using the financial resources from this architecture. The, the, the message uh, from our panelists and eminent economists and uh, wonderful people here was very clear. This cannot work. The rich borrow very cheaply. The poor pay incredibly. I describe it as, you know, mafia type of rate <laughs> of interest. And uh, it's ridiculous how you do that. And uh, the rating agencies actually uh, who put us all as sub-investment grade and say, oh, because those guys are risky and fall, blah, blah, blah. They're actually engineering our failure. And just to say, oh, I told you, I told you, you know, those guys are risky. Uh, something has to be done there to be sorted out. People were complaining also about the speed of action. Uh, whether it's Greece or Ukraine, money materialized somehow very quickly. Sri Lanka, Zambia, I mean, they have been in trouble for a long time. What is happening? Even this is the ours who made a big fuss about it. We discussed about the project here in Kakamega. So this is a project, this is a map of Kakamega. What we have painted in black are the ones that completed. What we have painted in blue are the ones ongoing in the last few years. You can see we've completed all the way from Sikaladala to Sumi to Mutere. And then also from Sabatia to Sada to Uja. And also with that of Udero and Luz Lili. So all this is in good condition. Yes, they are doing maintenance. Yes. But I want you to finalize. When I ask you to do it, I'm about to do something. I don't know what to do. Yes, we are going to finish. Then ongoing also with this session, we also started from Munias to Spana. Yes. Now, there are roads, there are excellencies that we have had challenges, and we have interventions that we need to deal with. This is from Kakamega, going to Nambata, and going all the way to Nabokoro, and then to the road of Mosikoma. This is where it's a whole stretch of a track kilometer to turn it in, but it, we will get a, a new contractor so that we can be able to complete. Same thing to Nambata to Nabokoro, Shianda to Nabokoro. So this is where we discussed and then once we get the time out to complete it. Because all this was started in 2017. So So in the network connectivity, we are today here in Malaba. So we are going on with the project from Malaba, which is 13 kilometers to Econ through Imanet. We've done halfway, 6.5 kilometers, so we are targeting to complete up to Econ. Now, to complete the connectivity, as uh, you directed your excellency, is that eventually we will have this road from Malaba through Samitsi to Malaba. 
so that now you will have a continuous connectivity. This is this one. Malava. This is where we are now. Malava, Kimaketi, Ikoli. This is the other one is from Malava so we are targeting to complete the economy. And if you reach the economy, you can actually, some few kilometers, you cross the border to Nandi. That is why we are saying eventually we will have all these roads go up these days and it can be a project of support also for this day. This way. Yeah. So that you can eventually reach the top of the world. So the deterrent will be able to design a project. So this particular one we are launching today, this is just some of the photos. It is costing 542 million. And we are targeting if contractor is provided with resources. We can be able to complete within the shortest time possible. Within six or eight months, this is completed. We are the to do that the excellent. So we. Asante now which for rice is now coming to unveil the plague. Wapi vigene gene kinamama vigene gene. Aya para panda vigene gene kinamama vigene gene. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you. Asante much for rice for unveiling the Malaba Ikoli Road. And now His Excellency will make his way to flag off the machinery that will make this road to raise the position of Pasi Jamani Wandishu Wabari Semmoja Aya Mabibi na Mabwana Sasa Mwishwa Rais Ana Zindua Barabara Makofi Makofi Vigele Gele Kina Mama Thank you Your Excellency Kuzindua Barabara Yamalaba, Ikoli Road. Kinamama, Vigele Gele, Vigele Gele, Vigele Gele. Kusani Mwe Mwe Shonais, Kami Kono, Jyo Hewa.